What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in the last video you've seen us throw the Ram twin disc clutch in here, the Ram flywheel, but before we can start this thing up or anything, we've got to get the MMR lock braces in on both sides. If we look, there's no videos on this anywhere. So I actually had to go to MMR, pull up their uh, instructions on how to install this thing. So Basically, you take two bolts out of the oil pan. We're going to show you guys step by step. Take two bolts out of the oil pan. They'll get replaced with new hardware. These two long ones are for the oil pan. These here, these shorter ones, are for the bell housing on the transmission. These come stock on GT500s. Why didn't they come stock on these? I mean... We, we know we've got a bl cracked block that we just fixed. And this is going to keep that from happening. So, let's get into it. Let's get busy. Last step before we start this thing. Yeah, man. Well, y'all have already seen it started, but not for us. So, let's do it. Let's get busy, man. Let's go. bolts go into the oil pan I'm going to start threading this up I'm gonna tell y'all just right off the rip getting this bolt in is a nightmare I don't know how they want you to get them in and also, we can't forget, Jacob, that we had to trim this. Yep. This little heat shield for the oil pan. And it says to tighten this bolt first, the transmission bolt, but you can't get to this bolt if you do that. Because the head of them are so big. Shoot, look, show them that side. This side's completely done. See how far that head sticks out right there? Yeah, the clearance really isn't that great. No. On those bolts. Right there. These only get torqued to 11 foot pounds. We're not gonna break out the torque wrench for this. I mean. No, just give it a good. Uh, the, yeah. We had to do some other modifications to this car because, <clears throat> excuse me, this shield got messed up when we were putting the transmission back in, so we had to go to your extreme measures. <laughs> well. All right, guys, we'll be back in just a sec. We'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, finished product. Block savers are in on both sides, and I'll tell you, this thing is one huge solid unit now. Yeah, man. Instead of it flexing back and forth and 
I mean, snapping the block. So, I guess the next time you see us, we'll be out from underneath this car. Yeah, man. No. Uh -oh. Once again, I forgot to end the video. Uh, I'm trying to hold the GoPro and not cover the mic up. So, that's the MMR block saver uh, video. And I came out here real quick just to give y'all a quick shot of Cliff right now. Just a preview. We got some more stuff coming, but look at that tent, man. Looking good. And that's going to be all you're going to get to see. So, if you're in Putnam County, Tennessee area and you watch us, you need window tent, go see my dude over at Sundown in Cookville. Not only did he do, do the Mustang, but he's done the Altima. And you can't see the Pathfinder from here, but the Pathfinder's sitting out there. The windows were done the same day as this one. Awesome job as usual. Always does me solid, so. Go check him out, Sundown Window Tinting. And guys, this is gonna be a wrap for this video. Um, just keep watching. We got more Mustang videos coming on Wednesday. Um, and Pitts is right around the corner. We're three weeks away. Right now, three weeks away. So the countdown is beginning. And we got to get this dude ready to go for Pitts. So as always, guys, we love you. And we thank you for everything. Remember. Dream big. See ya.